Hey beauties, it's Amanda Ramsey, your over 40s makeup expert. And I just thought I've got to get ready for a meeting. 10 minutes, maybe 15. So why not get ready with me? Hope you're all really, really well. I am so bad at time management. Always have been. My best friend from high school always tells me I need to be at something half an hour before I need to be there because there's something wrong with me and I'm never good at being on time. When I really, really have to, I'm good at it. But <laughs> I do find it exceptionally challenging. So let's just get into it. I'll try and do less yapping and more doing. Um, just really quick, um, what I've done so far is just given my hair a good blast off. So I've freshly washed it. It's gone a bit brassy since my big overseas adventure. Um, so I put the Olaplex purple shampoo in, which has knocked a little bit of the brassiness out, needs redoing. And I've used my new Panasonic hair dryer just to blast it off to like, oh God, I'd say 90% dry. And then I'll come through at the end and just do a bit of smoothing through the top. This is their... EHNA98, which I had a fancy name, but anyway, nanotechnology hair dryer that I've been using for the last month. It's really great for actually keeping your hair hydrated. Um, so if you've got hair that does tend to dry out from styling tools, highly recommend. It has all these different settings that you can use to keep your hair super healthy. Okay. Um, next, I'm just going to use the Clemence Organics Ultimate Biome Spritz. This has been an absolute lifesaver through the last three weeks of travel. And then I'm going to add the Exotic Goddess Number no. 3 Serum. This is your huge dump of hyaluronic acid. I don't generally do makeup without it, particularly if I'm doing makeup on other clients. Um, I'm finding at the moment that everyone, whether you're in summer or winter, is really dehydrated. Um, so this is just your big hydration dump and really a top tip for mature skin is put this on before applying your makeup. It's like giving your skin a really big drink and it will plump up those fine lines. But also just means that your skin isn't gonna just drink all your makeup, okay? Because you've hydrated before you've applied it. Hopefully that makes sense as to why it's such an essential item. We do sell this in the AR online store. Um, likewise with the Clemence Ultimate Biome Spritz and the Panasonic Hair Dry. If you wanna learn more about that, there is a link in my bio as well. Um, okay, next I'm going to use the Ari Perez Moringa All Beauty Cream Moisturizer. Just a little dollop of that. This is a really beautiful moisturizer to layer under makeup. It's very lightweight, but super hydrating. And while it is moisturizing, it's packed with vitamin E, it's not heavy. So all skin types can wear it and really great if you've got a teen or a tween as well because it has a natural lactic acid. So it keeps skin really beautifully smooth and I just find it's a great smoothing, nourishing moisturizer under makeup. Hello, lovely Linda Madden. I've enjoyed our chats on the Instagram while I was away. I am back. I've been back in the office since Monday, but you know, back to the madness. Things get super mad when the kids get back from Japan tomorrow. But anywho, <laughs> I want to go back on holidays, let's be honest. Um, I had the best time ever. Best time ever. Right, I've forgotten to grab a sunscreen. One sec while I just try not to trip over Buddha and grab some sun cream. Oh dear, hold on, let's see what we can find in the drawers here. Yeah, we're gonna use this one because it's to hand. It's the Alpha H 
Protection Plus Daily SPF 50. Oop, and it is a little bit tinted, this one. And I remember well, I've tried this a few times. I think it's a really great option for girls that do have a um, combination two oilier skin types. You can see no white cast at all. Blends in really quickly and easily and it does dry down. I think if you've got really dry skin, this might not be the one for you, particularly in winter. Might be all right for you in the summer months. So, combo, combo to oily, but it does leave a nice, I mean, most sunscreens do give you a nice glow, but it's not it's not sticky or tacky. It does definitely dry down. So that's Alpha H SPF 50. Just pop a little bit on my, what's going on? I think I need to lift the straps up on my dress. It's a bit boobalicious. Uh, thanks, Tanya. I did love my holiday pics too. <laughs> I loved, loved, loved it. But thank you for the warm welcome back. I appreciate that. Mm, she's a bit boobalicious though for a meeting. Gonna have to lift the straps. This is the best dress ever. I said I was gonna be quick. See, I can't help myself. This is a Ceres Life, C-E-R-E-S, Life slip dress. Got one in black, which came traveling with me. So versatile, blooming brilliant. And I've got this one in this beautiful bronzy, shade live in it throw a blazer over the top you look a bit fancy um throw a biker jacket leather jacket cable knit jumper like the most versatile item um so that's sarah's life not paid for just telling you i love it okay shush amanda get on with the show <laughs> this is the runway room first base Okay, what I'm actually using is what I've been talking about this week, which is the Runway Room Complexion Lifting Kit. It's a new kit that I added to the online store, really to celebrate all of you. I get so many questions about quick complexion lifting ideas. Um, and I've worn this combo myself a lot and used it a lot. It's what I used um, on some of the bridal party, it's just a really great, reliable combination for mature skin. The it's a foundation by Runway Room, the face base, the first base, hydrating luminous primer, the mineral multiple stick in peach punch, and the powder, which I can't put my hands on. It's a setting, a setting powder, loose setting powder. So I'm gonna show you how to use that complexion lifting kit. It's really universally flattering. It really suits all skin types. Um, yeah. And it's a lightweight formula. Gives really good coverage, but it does not feel heavy on the skin. So I've just put a little bit of the first base um, primer. And I'm actually discovered that applying this with a brush and then massaging with fingers has been what I've been doing, you do really need to massage this one in with your fingers. So if you are going to apply the primer with a brush, make sure you come back in and work it into the skin with your fingers. Don't know why, but that is what I've just found the most successful way of using this product. Let's put a little bit more on the other side. I'll show you without the brush. It just gives, even if you're not going to wear foundation, this just gives the most beautiful pearl, sort of pearlescent glow to your skin. So it's not really shiny like some of the hydrating luminous primers out there. They're a bit too shiny. This one gives a really lovely glow to the skin, as well as having 2% hyaluronic acid for hydration as well as smoothing out your skin, as well as helping with longevity. Okay. All right, next is, now, 
this may not be the right shade. I'm between shades at the moment, so I'm gonna use a little bit of each. I've got Face Base B and Face Base C, which equates to the Amanda Ramsey 0203. Um, I do do free complimentary color matching because I get it. I get you can be a bit scaredy pants of picking the right shade foundation and it really is the secret to great makeup. It's getting your foundation color right. So I do that for free for you. You just have to send me a photo of yourself and uh, I'll do that for you. Oh, I just want a really light, barely there cover today. Um, I'm grateful it's not fucking freezing like it was when I got back because I've forgotten how to dress for the really cold weather. It's weird on the Gold Coast. It's not like Melbourne where you can get, you know, really into your big coats and your big cosy knits and stuff. Like yesterday it was freaking hot. Um, cold in the morning and cold at night and then really hot during the day and I just don't seem to be able to figure that out. All right, I'm just doing a very quick application. Just using the foundation to, um, what's the word? I guess just even out my skin tone a little bit and you can see it just looks so good and so fresh on camera. It's bloody beautiful. So this is the Runway Room face base and it is a, um, it's a really close dupe for the Armani Luminous Silk. And Runway Room's face base is Australian owned, Australian made, cruelty free, never tested on animals, Australian Lady Startup, formulated and designed by a award-winning professional makeup artist. It's a really great, and it's half the price of your Armani Luminous Silk. So, fantastic foundation. Okay, that's that. And then um, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of the lighter shade, which is B, on a brush and pop that under my eye area using this brush I got sent I'm not sure how to use it yet it's a bit new to me but let's give it a go I do actually really prefer if I'm honest using my fingers under the eye area Warmth of your fingers really does help to melt product into your skin. Sorry, can you hear that? Someone's on a lawn mower situation out the back of my place. It's a bit noisy. My apologies. I was trying to do some filming yesterday and my neighbours, who aren't generally noisy, but it's school holidays, isn't it? were so freaking noisy that I just had to do a voiceover later at night when they were all in bed. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, next in the complexion, Runway Room Complexion Lifting Kit is the Mineral Stick in Peach Punch. This is what I would describe as a drier cream product. So it's not a really... Yeah, it's not a really luminous -y, I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely a drier cream. So it's still a cream because creams work best for mature skin. But it's drier. So less slip, I guess. It just seems to melt really beautifully into the skin. So really great for, again, all skin types. So the Aero Perez carrot color pots which many of you probably have bought from me a beautiful cream blush but they're what I would call a, a wetter which is really not the right word to use but they're a, they're a more silky tackier consistency than this 
So this just melts really nicely into the skin and gives your complexion a lift. And then I would save the, um, the setting powder, which is part of your complexion lifting kit, for right at the end and only if you really think you need it. Um, I would use the powder mostly to blot shine in the zones that you feel like you might have a little bit too much shine. You don't like that. Um, otherwise, you know, really steer clear of too much powder. Next is the Forever Eyeshadow Crayon in Burnt Copper. I need to hurry up. I'm going to be late. Uh, so applying a little bit of that just to the mobile lid and grabbing a brush for my brushes. Oh God, I just need like a part-time brush cleaning person. Because <laughs> they all need a bit of a clean. So just take a nice fluffy soft brush, blending that in. I usually do my eyes first. I don't know what's going on. I've hardly worn any eyeshadow while I've been away. I've used that multiple stick, the Peach Punch, as eyeshadow. Love a multitasking product. If you are traveling, highly recommend. Hello, Katie did 1911. Will do me. I do want to put a little bit underneath because it is a meeting. I should make go a little bit extra. Where'd it go? There. V beach. Hey Sharon Malloy. How are you girls? If you have any questions, please pop them in the box I may not have time to answer them but you can always once I post this into the feed if you have a question um, pop it in the comments because I can come back later and respond you'll find a link in my bio to the runway room complexion lifting kit which we're featuring this month because we've got an awesome gift with purchase promotion on. When you spend $150 on Runway Room products in the AR online store, you're going to get the Runway Room Lip Prep, which came traveling with me. It's worth $29.95, it's yours free when you spend $150 or more on Runway Room in my online store. And it's got Tastes like peppermint. It's got a very gentle tint to it. It's a really lovely peachy, universally favouring um, shade. Really plumps up your lips and it's got a gentle exfoliant in it as well. So it keeps your lips in good, good nick. Um, and that's free this month while stocks last. Okay, bit of mascara. Just curl my lashes with. Oh, they came traveling. They got a bit beaten up in the makeup purse. There we go. Just give them a quick curl. Just got an email today about a new lash growth product. Um, so I've said yes to them sending that up and I'm going to give it a go because I have noticed not wearing my mascara every day my lashes are looking a little bit sad and I'm always up for trying new products that I know fulfill a need for you girls i.e. Everyone's always talking about thinning eyelashes. And the truth is, I'm really rubbish at um, 
being super consistent and usually you have to be really diligent with those lash growth serums this mascara I just find this easier just get this mascara this is the me cosmetics feature length lash lover mascara mine needs to be replaced just a little light it's really such a great mascara because it does actually feed and nurture the health of your lashes. I find the more I wear it, the better my lashes get. This is the Sculpting Brow Builder by Me Cosmetics. I'm using the shade Remarkably Fair and just doing a quick comb through of my brows. Did try and get an appointment with Gem my brow girl before I went away, but it didn't happen. So the brows are a bit desperate. I do, I am a bit addicted to the um, laminate brow lamp. Okay. And just to make it all look, you know, like profesh, and like I've made a big effort. Beetroot Cheek and Lip Tint. This is a cheek and lip stain actually. So made with beetroot, that stains your lips. It just gives your lips a good base and means that all the chatting you're going to do in a meeting or sips of coffee or champagne, whatever it is, your lippy's not going to disappear. Now I went downstairs specifically to get my red lipstick. Here it is in my handbag. I'm going to pop on the Rageism. Actually, before I do, I'm just going to do one thing, which is line my lips. Whenever I'm using bright shades and going for a bit of a lip look, I'll always take a nude liner and really get the shape right first. So it allows you to create a fuller looking lip. So that's the Kylie's Professional Mineral Goddess, the shade Earthy. It's like the perfect nude lip pencil. And then I've got Scarlet by Rageism. Which is a really beautiful full coverage, genuinely hydrating. red that suits everyone it's a really beautiful clear true red that suits all so all of these products you'll find in the AR online store then final little touch is I just take the chic orange pencil from Mavala so we do actually sell Scarlet from Rageism with this, I think it's called the Hot Red or the Ultimate Red Lip Duo. And I'll just sharpen it up. Sharpen up my lip line. So very, very simple makeup, but just looks a bit wow because of the red lip.
and the truth is this is really the makeup that I did for the wedding I went to in Greece because I did the bride and a couple of others so I didn't have a whole lot of time to get myself ready all I did was define my brows a little bit more and that was it so it's a makeup that is quick and easy but has some wow factor Makeup does not need to be difficult to have impact. Okay, last couple of steps because I've really got to go. I'm super late. Is I'm just going to pop on a little bit of this is just a touch up because I noticed some of my nail polishes come off. Um, this is the shade London from Mavala. It's just a good dupe for my favorite OPI, which is Big Apple Red. And I love how they come in these dinky little bottles. So good for travel, but also just great if you like to have a bit of a nail polish wardrobe. Um, quick spritz of my Wild Wood from Vanessa Megan. This is their newest natural perfume, which I also took traveling with me and I've become hooked on the scent. It is divine. And then a just final quick blast. This is going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Is this going to be too noisy using the hairdryer? I think it will be. Um, so maybe I'll do that off, off camera. But I'm just going to do a quick smooth through the top layers with the hairdryer. So I'll do that off camera because I've got to run. <laughs> Love you lots. It's great to be back. And if you do have a question, maybe wait till I post it in the feed and ask the question. I'll come back a little bit later after this afternoon's meeting and get back to you from Buddha, who's there on my bed. And I keep shining bright and I'll see you all for another Get Ready With Me soon. Bye for now.